ओके स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव अनदर टॉपिक दैट इज स्क्वेयर रूट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट इट वी हैव लर्न इन प्राइमरी स्कूल दैट द एरिया ऑफ अ स्क्वेयर विद साइड्स फाइव सेंटीमीटर इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर मल्टीप्लाई बाई फाइव सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर यू कैन सी अ स्क्वेयर द एरिया ऑफ द स्क्वेयर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव हाउ इन अ स्क्वेयर ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल सो द फॉर्मूला फॉर एरिया इज लेंथ मल्टीप्लाई बाय ब्रेड They all are same, so that's why we wrote five multiplied by five is equals to twenty-five centimeter square, as you know that. Okay. We have also learned that if we are given a square with an area of twenty-five centimeter square, the length of its sides is square root of twenty-five is equals to five centimeter. We say that the square root of twenty-five is five. As I told you before, some perfect squares, like if we have zero multiplied by zero, it can be written as zero square. and the answer is 0 when we will uh, when we will apply square root it will be 0 0 multiplied by 0 is equals to 0 square is equals to 0 implies square root of 0 is 0 multiplied by 0 and 0 square can be cancelled out okay <clears throat> similarly 1 multiplied by 1 can be written as 1 square and this is is equals to 1 how when we will apply the square root the answer will be 1 2 multiplied by 2 can be written as 2 square is equals to 4 implies square root of 4 is 4 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 and further we can write it as 2 square and it will be 2 these are some perfect squares 0 1 4 4 9 are the squares of whole uh, whole numbers and they are called perfect squares i wrote some perfect squares for you like Square root of one is one. Square root of four is two. Square root of nine is three. How? Because three threes are nine. Three square will be three. Okay. Square root of sixteen is four. Square root of twenty five is five. Square root of thirty six is six. Square root of forty nine is seven. As I gave you, <clears throat> so it will be like twenty five. Is equals to five. These are some perfect squares: one, four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five, thirty-six, forty-nine, sixty-four, eighty-one, and hundred. From one to ten. Okay. Our main task is to solve by prime factorization. We have to find the square roots. You just keep in your mind that the square root of forty-nine is seven. Square root of thirty-six is six. Square root of sixty-four is eight. These are the simple perfect squares. Okay, how would you solve it? I just solve one two examples for you. Let's begin with the easy number. Okay, forty nine. We have forty nine. Find the square root of forty nine. You will start your solution like this. First, you will do the prime factorization as we have done with it. Forty nine, and you know that seven sevens are forty nine. Then seven one zero seven. Then we will write in this way: forty nine is equals to seven multiplied by seven. We just wrote the all the factors of forty nine. That is seven and seven. Okay. Next step is index notation. We can write seven multiplied by seven as seven square. Okay. Next step. We will just put the square root on both sides. Okay. Left hand side is forty nine and right hand side is seven square. We will just put the square root. Square root of forty nine is equals to square root of seven square. All right, okay, students. Just keep in your mind that this is square. The index is basically the square. This index is called square. It can be cube. It can be four. It can be five. Up to so on. Okay. So, and this is called square root. This is root. This is root, and this is square. When we will apply the square root on this square, it will be a single number. So the answer is square root of forty nine is seven. It will be cancelled. Okay. Next example, find the square root of sixty four. Similarly, first we will uh, do the prime factorizations. Sixty four. Now sixty four is an even number, so we can divide it by two. Two threes are six. Two twos are four. Again, two ones are two. Two six are twelve. Then two eights are sixteen. Two fours are eight. Two twos are four, and two ones are two. 
so these are the factors of 64 all the prime factors okay 64 can be written as 2 multiplied by 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 2 as we wrote all the factors so we will make pairs 2 multiplied by 2 can be written as 2 square then 2 multiplied by 2 can be written as 2 square and then this can be written as 2 square next step is you will put the square root on it okay left hand side is 64 so we will apply the square root on left hand side and on right hand side as well like this okay next step is very important 2 square multiplied by 2 square multiplied by 2 square 2 is index or simply we can say that the power you can see that power is same this is 2 so we can write if it is same then we can write it as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 as a whole power okay if there is any other number like 3 so we will not write it like this okay now 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 this is square and this is square root it will be cancelled so we are left with 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. So the answer is 8. Square root of 64 is 8. This is basically the solution or you can learn it like this. Square root of 64 is 8. This is so simple because 8 eights are 64. Square root of 49 is 7. How? Because 7 7 are 49. Square root of 36 is 6 because 6 6 are 36. These are called the perfect squares. If I would write a number, like if I would write 26, now this is not a perfect square. Okay, we have an example 4. <clears throat> Find square root of 324 by using prime factorization. Okay, I have solved this example for you. Square root of 324. It is a three digit number, so let's start it by prime factorization by using prime factorization basically. 2 1 2, 2 6 12, 2 2 4. 2 8 is a 16, 2 1 is a 2. Then 81 is an odd number. So 3 2 is a 6, 3 7 is a 21, 3 9 is a 27, 3 3 is a 9 and 3 1 is a 3. If it is difficult for you, so you can divide it like this. 3 24 divided by 2, 2 1 is a 2, 1 remainder, 2, it will be 12. 2 6 is a 12, 0 remainder, but we have 4. So 2 2 is a 4. So the answer is 162, just like this. 2 8 is a 16, 2 1 is a 2. 3 2 is a 6, 3 um, 7 is a 21, 3 9 is a 27, 3 3 is a 9 and 3 1 is a 3. Okay, next step is we will simply write it like this. We just wrote all the factors. 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Okay, then we will make the pairs. 2 multiplied by 2 can be written as 2 squared. 3 multiplied by 3 can be written as 3 squared. 3 multiplied by 3 can be written as 3 squared. Okay, next step is we will put the square root on it. 324, we will apply the square root. So the next step is we will write it as a whole. 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 whole square. Whole square. This is square and this is square root. It will be cancelled. We are left with 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. 2 3s are 6 and 6 3s are 18. So the answer is square root of 324 is 18. That's it. This is basically the question. Find the square root of 324. Find the square root of 324 by using prime factorization. As you can see that the, they all are the prime numbers. These are the prime numbers. Okay students. Take care and Allah Hafiz. Stay safe and healthy.